In this video, we are going to fold a bird. And as we fold the bird, we are going to discover many different geometric terms that we learn in school. Let's begin. This is the paper that I'll use for the bird. And this small square is just uh, something that I'll use as a reference to. So I start by folding this square in half. I fold it along the diagonal and I get a triangle. Now what type of a triangle is this? Let's classify it. The first one I'll do and then you should try on your own. Let's take this square. I know that the four angles in a square are 90 degrees. So let me use this to compare. This is 90 degrees. It is obvious. It's one of the corners of the square. Whereas this is less than 90, so it's an acute angle. This is less than 90 because hence it's an acute angle. So I have 190 and two acute angles. This is a right angle triangle. What about its sides? These two sides of the triangle form the sides of a square. So they must be equal. Let's check if they are equal. The way to check is just fold very lightly and check. See, they are equal. So this is an isosceles right triangle. Now let's continue. The next step is to fold this edge and make it meet this edge. So we are going to fold along a line which is an angle bisector. Means this angle is bisected, means divided into two parts both of which are equal. Let's just fold it. Make sure that your fold starts right from this corner and fold a sharp crease. Now we see three triangles. Let's number them. One, two and three. Can you classify these triangles based on sides and angles. Let's continue our folding. Now turn the paper and now you're going to make this corner meet this corner. What can you say about the size of the paper now? How does it relate to the original square? Okay, let's continue our quest for triangles. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a finger and put it inside this so that I open this part and I get two triangles like this. These are new triangles. Let's number them. We'll call them as four and five. What kinds of triangles are these? And can you find out how they compare with each other? What are the geometry terms we use for such kinds of triangles? Now let's continue our folding. Put your finger like this and open the model. Now you're going to take this edge and make it meet this line. Do you know the term, geometric term for this line? Let's fold it now. We have to fold both the sides. And then lift the paper, fold it in half and 
keep it like this. What is this shape called as? You get two new triangles over here. Can you classify them, the green one and the white one? Let us take this edge and make it meet this edge. So we are going to bisect this angle. Fold it like this. And then what you have to do is unfold it again and then just put your finger inside over here and lift it and fold the previous fold again. Now this quadrilateral has changed and it has become a Yes, it's a kite. Now let's turn the model and repeat this step on the other side. So you have to take this edge and fold it towards this edge. Means you're going to bisect this angle. Then you're going to unfold it. Then you will lift this flap and then make that fold again. So you get a kite over here and a triangle over here. What do you notice about this triangle? What kind of a triangle is it? Now there are just two steps. Let's complete them fast. Now we are going to take this triangle and we are going to fold it so that Keep, hold the model like this so that this is horizontal. You're going to take this and fold it like this. Towards the shorter edge of the kite. Turn the model. And you're going to fold this towards this but along this edge. So you're going to bisect that angle. Fold it. Now your bird is almost ready. All that it needs is a beak. So fold this as per your wish. Open it and push it in. There you go. You have a bird. It also stands up very nicely like this. <laughs>